hi guys and um, this is like my third attempt of filming this um so hopefully this time this one is going to be in sync um so favorites um of july and mostly june because i haven't done one for ages first up i have to say i'm absolutely loving my ipad um this has taken over my life so much, um, like, I have everything on here, I have the BBC Olympics on here, there's so much taken over my life. At the moment, we are fifth in medals, um, if you're from USA, you're in second, China, you're first, I think that's South Korea, I was never very good at geography, you're third, France, you're fourth, well done, Great Britain, we're fifth, due to some up. Um, medal wins today because we were like down 15th when I looked earlier on. Um, PRK, I have no idea who you are, but if that is your flag, you are sick. Then it's Germany, Italy, Russia, Kazakhstan, um, South Africa, and then Japan, Hungary, I think that is. And I'm going to stop ruling them all off because you, know, you don't need that. But the good things about this are, one, the camera takes superb pictures, like, let's find one for you, like, look at my cat, let's like spin it around, maybe you can see better, look at him, he's hiding in a Primark bag, um, so yeah, it takes good pictures, so I'll be able to take my pictures, and, ding -dong, just up here, there it is. I now have, well, where am I going, there we go, I've now got Blogger, so I can blog on the go with this, um, so hopefully that's all going to work, and this is going to let me like update to you a lot better, and a lot quicker, and a lot easier, um, so that's my first favourite thing. Now I'm going to get on to makeup, um, because that's all of my favourites um, after this. The Simple Derma, Derma um, Intensive Relief Cream for Extra Dry and Eczema Prone Skin. Results in four days. In case you wanted to know that. Um, this has just been great for my eczema, for my dry skin, for everything really. It's brilliant. Um, definitely suggest you pick up a pot if you suffer from dry screen, skin or eczema. So on to other things. Um, first up is a little sample pot that I got in the She Said Beauty, I feel like I've got hair. In the She Said Beauty um, box, yeah that's like, there we go, I've got it. And I feel like I have a hairless lip. Um, so yeah, a little sample pop from the She Said Beauty Box. Um, this is the Layla D Honey Moisturiser. It's a tiny little sample. But it's a really thick, um, luxurious moisturiser. And I've been using it pretty much every day. And it's really nice. And it's all natural, organic ingredients, which I really liked. Um, so that's first up in my favourites. Stained on face. I have the U Rebel Light from Benefit with SPF 15. This is their tinted moisturiser. Um, it is pretty much for the last month all I've been able to get away with wearing on my face because obviously with dry skin any makeup you put sinks in and accentuates it so this has been perfect for me to use. Um, loving it. So yeah that's the U Rebel. I've got it in the light mixture as opposed to just the, I don't know if they do a dark in it, but like I know there's another one which is just called You Rebel, and um, it's a bit darker than this. Um, next up on face, I have the Healthy Mix Serum. Um, I used this before I had all of the problems with my skin, um, and it is my favourite foundation at the moment. It's really light coverage, really light texture, um, semi matte finish but it is buildable so if you're a fan of heavier coverages you can build this up to 
make a really nice coverage for your foundation. Um, so I love that. Then I have something else on the face. Yes, I do. Um, Dream Matte Powder by Maybelline. Um, this is in shade 2, Rose Ivory. That, by the way, was in shade 51, um, which is the lightest they're doing that. This is Rose Ivory, so it does sort of have pink undertones, which is perfect for me. Um, and that's what it looks like. And you slide it round, if I can get this to slide. So I had to stop there because my sister was asking if I wanted my tea doing, which I don't. And I did tell her I was going to eat later. But anyway, as I was saying, this slides around. So it's got a little mirror on it. There's my computer. This has... Let's get rid of that. Um, so yeah, this has a mirror in it so I travel around with this because it's got the powder just to do touch ups and a mirror so wherever I am I'm good to go pretty much with this so I love it for that I love it for the travel availability of this um, otherwise I just wouldn't take anything with me because I find it messy so all I have to have in my bag really is this and this and I'm good for touch ups for the whole day really um, which takes me on to these actually my Real Techniques brushes. These are um, my favourite brushes at the moment. The contour brush and the buffer brush. Nothing compares to this for the way it buffs in your foundation and puts it on. It's just flawless and airbrushed and brilliant with this. So soft. Um, I haven't used any other face brush for foundation since I got this contour brush. I use this for blush and for contouring. Um, I find the really good brushes like oh just put my foot on the radiator it's cold um really good brushes definitely worth the money and they are super super soft um next i have my Stila convertible color um it's a lip and cheek color and it's in shade seven petunia and um, it looks like this I can, I'm having difficulty opening things today. Looks like this, just a really bright pink colour, um, but blends out really well. It's here, um, you probably won't see it, and just there, but I'm not sure how much they're going to show up because it blends super well um, and gives a very natural good look to it. Um, next favourites are eyelash curlers can't say much about them but I just cannot stop using them at the moment I've just got a mess here and there um, next up is two hair products so the first one is the Tony and Guy um, casual where are we there we are sea salt spray um, this just adds texture to my hair makes it easier to style and do things with um, not that you can tell but it was curly and it has fallen out um, but that was curled at like 6 o'clock this morning and it's still slightly you know it's not flattened to my head like it always is um, so I definitely think it works at keeping things in there longer because usually by this time it's what is it nearly 5 o'clock it'll be straight flat and on my head whereas you know I just have to do a quick little zhuzh and you know play about and you know my hair's looking bigger again already and um, so that's that the next thing is Batiste dry shampoo I go through like one of these a month I absolutely adore them and um, so yeah that's probably always going to be my favorites just really good if you can't wash your hair you spray this in and it gives it that freshened up look. Um, is there anything else? Yes, there is. Two things. Um, first thing is the Essence No Limits. Let's see. The Essence No Limits um, Waterproof Mascara. Um, I love this because I suffer from hay fever, so nothing is better than a waterproof mascara when you have hay fever. Um, that's pretty much why I love that. Last but not least is Tutti Frutti from Revlon Lip Butters, um, bright 
orange you'll know what it looks like um, it is this one here the orange one this brown one is a is a it's not a it's an eyeliner um, and that's from Rimmel and it's just a soft brown and I use it for my eyebrows um, so those are my favourites now on to things that I'm not loving um, first of all is the natural collection lash build mascara um, is it gonna no you probably won't be able to read that but it just says lash build mascara on it um, this mascara is amazing in the look it gives you it really lengthens your lashes it really volumizes them like you'll put one coat on and it'll be like it's just sort of colored them it's not made a difference you'll put a second coat on and they're lengthened and they start to be volumized and they're not clumping they're just fanning out lovely um you'll put on a third coat and that looks spectacular um and i love the look it gives you with these lashes but my only downfall is I'm allergic to it and that's what gave me all my problems in the first place but anyway so that's why it has to be in things that I don't love because I'm allergic to it not because it isn't any good because it is it's really really good but just not for me um, so that was disappointing to find that actually next in my not so hot list is the Am I Pure Burns and this is a loose translucent translucent powder just you know pop off lid like that um, and then this is all kept together in a hinge um, you probably won't see because if I'm on, what I'm filming on is my webcam but um, it gets messy this is it's all over the lid and whenever you close it they, um, it just puffs and dust goes everywhere it gets all over the, the edges and the sides and it's like all in the lid and yeah it's just too messy for me um, so that's why I'm not really enjoying that and finally on my list is the Barry M foundation brush um, I didn't know what to make of them when they first when I first found out they were coming out with makeup brushes I thought ooh banging it off stuff now but the only thing that I know Barry M for is their nail polishes and they're really good um, but I didn't really use any of their makeup the only makeup I've used is the green lipstick from them um, so I brought this on a whim really just to see what it was like and it's just for me this is not good um, doesn't feel particularly soft on my face um, the brushes aren't really it's not the most flexible so you really feel it like tugging on your skin um, like that's minimal effort and I don't know if you can see that but it does sort of like really move that skin quite a lot um, so I don't like that I really feel, feel like I'm painting my skin with it and it leaves the most streakiest finish in the world so I'd still have to go and get another brush to finish off my face whereas I have other brushes take my Royal Anglica one which is the same sort of thing paintbrush style um, but like the bristles are longer on it they fan out more on it um, and this sort of buffs as you go along like I can do this and it's like using the same sort of effort but because of the dispersion of the bristles like it's not disturbing my skin as much and it's like buffing as it goes along because these are like really fluffy on the lip on the tip of them whereas this is just very solid um, so I definitely don't like this um, I will see if I can pick up a like, eyeshadow one and see if they're any better but I'm really not loving that foundation brush at all um, so sorry about that barium but I just don't like it um, what else could I say um, please subscribe if you haven't already um, I am going to do a few videos um, I have to do the ones well, I don't have to but I decided that I was going to do the ones from um, 
they request that on my video. So one of them is a question answer video. So if you have any questions, please just pop them below um, because I'd love to answer them, whether that's anything to do with YouTube, getting started on it, maybe even going away to uni, like what it's like to move away, um, tips for uni, um, like with me, what do you do if uni isn't actually for you and you find that out halfway through your course, um, because that's what happened to me, um, so you can ask anything about that, relationships, boyfriends, school, bullying, like I've got experience in all that sort of stuff, but you can ask me anything, like anything to do with my like eczema, how I deal with things, you know, work, friends, life, what my favourite colour is, favourite flavour of ice cream, um, just ask me anything, anything you want to know, as long as it's not too personal, I will answer your questions if I deem them to be okay in my video, like, so if you ask a really in, like personal question that I don't feel comfortable putting the answer to on, I won't tell you. Um, but other than that, I'm pretty much up for answering anything. Um, and yeah, I will see you all soon in my next video. Um, got a couple of tags to do. Well, one really, I think. Um, might be a couple more, I'm not sure. Um, but I'll see you all soon. Don't forget to hit subscribe um, so you keep up to date with all my videos. And comment below on questions and um, questions and yeah just comment 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 because I love when you guys talk to me on here and I love talking back to you and I like you know making friends with you all because um, it's what YouTube is all about to me um, so I'll see you all soon goodbye